the impossible for you right now. What man looks, what, what man thought was impossible, God said is about to become possible. I said, what men say is impossible. They think ain't no way possible for it to happen that way. You can't do that that way. You got to go do this, that, and the other. God said that you get ready to do exceedingly abundantly above all that you can ever ask or think. I wasn't even thinking that I was going to do my own potential network. But God began to show me that I was producing my own shows and stuff like that. And the, the Lord showed me a different way. And I was thinking like, okay, I'm going to just do it this potential way. But now today, I can get, I got the God Corporation going like never before. And then I, can, I got the King Calvin Jones Jr. Show, CJC Hood News. You understand? All going at the same time. And then um, I'm putting this platform out there to help creators create what's creative. God is doing a new work. I'm telling you, he's doing a new work. Old things are passing away, not old people. Old things, new things are being created. God is doing a new thing. Old things are passing away. Not old people, but old things are passing away. And God is getting ready to do a new thing in your life. The new thing is coming forth now in this lifetime. I said the new thing is coming forth right now. But to see the blessing of the Lord make it rich. See, he gave you a gift. The gift that he gave you is going to produce the harvest that you need. You might think it's funny. You might think you're selling out this, that, and the other. But you ain't selling out. It's somebody that's willing to pay for what you got. And it's going to take care of you to produce the harvest that you need for your household, for your family. For many that are far off, God said, I will, bring, I, will, I will cause you to be, your gift to be placed before kings and queens. They're going to want that talent. They're going to want that gift. They're going to want to give you what you need in exchange, what they need. That gift may not seem so much powerful and worthful for you, but God has placed it in you because somebody needs it. I say, somebody needs the very gift that you have. You've been created for God's full purpose and plan. Whether you know it or not, God is about to do exceedingly abundantly above all that you can ever ask. My God. I mean, I don't look at it as like working for church or ministry, but I'm working for God's corporation. Glory to God. And where all the creators are working together. All the people who can create what's creative come together on one accord and begin to utilize their gifts. See, one of the things that you can't say that you begging for bread because you working for God. And if you work for him, the scriptures say in John 4, I must work the works of him who has sent me while it is day. The night coming when no man can work. So there's no reason that you will lack no good thing. God will withhold no good thing from you. The God Corporation will teach you how you will lack no good thing. Glory to God. I said, you may take your five little pennies and, 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 and or seven. You have number of completion. And that's all that you got. But God will make sure that empty barrel won't be empty for not too much longer. I'm telling you today, as a creator who can create what's creative, I've seen God do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that I can ever ask or think. I'm telling you that how he can take you, he give you a testimony beyond your wildest imagination where people can't even conceive of the things that God has given you. Yeah, yeah. They, 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 God show you how not to be ignorant of the devil's devices, but he got devices. God has got some devices. Glory to God. God's got some the ways to get the message across to the four corners of the earth to reach people just like you and myself in other ways that I can do it on this day. I can come to you and present to you this message today to help creators. 
create was creative. Yeah, you are God. You can do so much more than you can ever thought you were doing. And you might be looking like you just begging for bread, but you ain't got to beg for bread because the blessing that gave God gave you, yeah, that talent, yeah, that gift is making room for you. So there's a harvest on the inside. And all you got to do is change your way from the things of the world that choked it out from you seeing your full potential. That's the only reason you are lacking anything today. The only reason you are lacking anything because your thoughts got out of God's thoughts. And when your thoughts become pushed down and they become suppressed by your your imaginations, then when you make God your stronghold, you won't begin to begin to suffer as much as you did before. See, there's a short season only because you had to you had to give your thoughts over to God. But I'm telling you, God is getting ready to establish some creators who can create what's creative today he get ready to establish some folks and then you gonna understand what the blessing of the lord is see the blessing of the lord make it rich and he had no sorrow with it so you might get the gift of faith the gift of healing the gift of miracles it don't matter what you got but god is about to give you something that is needed and he's going to show you how to use it fruitfully and how it is going to be multiplied and you're going to be able to replenish and subdue the earth I'm saying you're going to be able to replenish and subdue the earth with what God has given you on the inside you are a person full of seeds my God I said you're a person that's full of seeds and your seeds are got to produce a harvest my God I said yo you you are a person full of seeds. You are the head and not the tail. But only if you started off with a hundred. But when it's like they tell you in elementary school, you start off with the hundred. The only way that you lose that hundred is by not doing what is required. Why is this? The only time that a hundred goes down is when you, the person, you start messing up the process. Again, when you was in school, they told you, you start off with a hundred, but if you don't do the work, you go down to 99, 98, 97. Well, that's what God is doing. You started off with a hundred with the blessing. But the only way you lose it is if you take your mind off of God and you start operating under the curse. See, the blessing of the Lord make it rich and he add no sorrow with it. So whatever he gave you from the heavens, he about to show you how to multiply it and replenish and subdue the earth. See, the curse is to do everything contrary than what God told you to do. Obedience even told you to be fruitful and multiply and subdue the earth. The only reason stuff being destroyed is because you ain't creating it. You are a part of the problem. So now you got to become a part of the solution and get to using that talent that God has given you. And you got to act like you're a creator because you are a creator. You can create what is good and then you got to begin to speak to it at the end of the day and say it is good on Monday. You got to stop making it so heavy for you. Stop operating under the curses in your life. Begin to say it is good. If you know God for real begin to say it is good on Tuesday it is good on Wednesday it is good on Thursday it is good on Friday it is good on Saturday it is good on Sunday you got to begin to speak those things into existence you got to begin to speak in your beggar situation that it is good you got to say God I might be lacking something I might not have enough food but God it is good that you are going to give me my harvest you're going to give me an expected harvest. I might not have what I need today, but God, you're going to bless me. You're going to pour me out the blessings that I don't have room enough to receive because you created me just like an infant that didn't know they was going to have diapers and infant meal. God said, I'm already in supply of all your needs, not some of your needs, not two-fourths, not two-thirds, not one-fourth, not one-half, but all of your needs so you can begin to trust him now. In Jesus' name.
you got to begin to trust God and know that he is a healer, that he is a redeemer, that he is your potential supplier. You got to begin to declare that. You got to begin to decree that. That he is with you and he'll never leave you nor forsake you. You got to begin to understand that you are a creator. That God said the blessing of the Lord make it rich. You got to take that. He's going to take you from being the borrower and to being the lender today. I, I'm declaring it. I'm decreeing it now as a creator who can create what's creative. That God is getting ready to do exceedingly abundantly above all that you can ever ask or think I say I, I'm declaring it I'm decreeing it that God is going to do exceedingly abundantly above all that you can ever ask or think and the Lord been, was showing me some mighty exploits that just by you connecting to the God corporation period to God in general there's going to be some manifestations of miracles, signs, and wonders that's getting ready to come and pass in your life. Stuff that you can cause to happen. God about to cause it. When you give it to him, he going to show you how to multiply. See, God is the mastermind behind multiplying. <laughs> and he know how to add to you. Because he added something to you. Look, you was an infant. You had no abilities, no skills at that time. But God is getting ready to Get, he's getting ready to open up the windows of heaven and pull you out a blessing that you don't have room enough to receive. I said, God is about to open up the windows of heaven and pull you out a blessing that you're not and you don't have room enough to receive. And if you're getting ready to receive the miracles of God. You're getting ready to receive the blessings of the Lord it's time like never before to make up your mind that I want the blessing of the Lord the blessing of the Lord make it rich and he added no sorrow see but if you covet at the other things just covering it will bring sorrow but on the other side of it Faith don't bring sorrow. Faith begins to give you stuff that you is already yours. All you got to do is proclaim it and walk in it as a creator who can create what's creative. All you got to do is begin to walk in what God calls you in. Yeah. Ain't you tired of being stressed out? Ain't you tired of being the employee in your life? Your whole family has been an employee and y'all been talking about I'm blessed and highly favored. But that's not what God was talking about in Genesis. I mean, Deuteronomy 12 28 and Genesis 12 1, 2 and 3 when he talked to Abraham no that's just barely making it but when you get connected to the God and the God corporation as creators who can create what's creative the blessing that's on your life gonna make you rich and he ain't gonna add no sorrow with it you stressed out today because you done told yourself as a creator that God blessed you with the opportunity that you now got but you still lacking you still lacking for money for your bills. You still lacking for your car note. You still lacking for everything around you because God didn't give you that. You went to go get it because it's your thoughts one like God's thoughts. So you went to put the application in, but God didn't tell you to go put that application in. You're supposed to have believe God with the gift of faith. And so because you didn't believe God with the gift of faith, God wanted to show you that his thoughts were not like your thoughts. I said God wanted to show you that his thoughts was not like your thoughts. And so you got to begin to declare and you got to begin to decree that God said what he said. So if God told you, if he told you that let all the earth keep silent before him, then you got to let all the earth keep silent before him and begin to get yourself right and stop acting hard-headed and dull of hearing. And you had to say God, I've been in the employee situation for far too long. 
but it's time for me to be an employer and begin to do what God has called me to do. I'm telling you, God is trying to pour some blessings over you and you're just barely making it with your little itty bitty stuff that you got going on. But you need to take your little seed like the little lad boy and give your two fish and five loaves of bread right now. You need to give your two fish.